Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the first week in May, May the 2nd. It's general reading. Uh, as usual, I'll start off by saying thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate everyone who turns up. Um, all 39 of you have subscribed. I've got over a thousand views. It'd be great if I got a thousand subscribers. So please do like, subscribe. Liking's really good. Both the subscribing and liking actually don't do anything to you at all. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, liking's really good because it'll push these videos to other people who like similar things. So if Scorpio you like it, Aquarius you like it, just send it to someone else. Um, it doesn't do you any harm and really, really helps the channel grow. So I really appreciate that. So, you know, there are, I don't know, 39 subscribers and there are about 30 people looking at the videos. So if this is a general reading, it's very specific to the beautiful, gorgeous, talented Aquarians that have found the way onto this channel. So let's get right into it. Um, True Black Deck as usual, Celtic Cross, which I name as I'm dealing, as dealing sounds awful, doesn't it? As I put the cards out. So let's go for it. Nice start, Queen of Swords. Um, kind of the justice card of the minor arcana, cold light of day, tell the truth, you know, clarity, honesty, logical sort of, uh, what's the word? It's that clarity again. I always get clarity. I get the, the clanging bell through a foggy day, that kind of drawing you in going, this is the truth. Nice card to start with. I like that. Wow. Crossing with the world. That's really nice. Recent past, wow, off into an adventure. Uh, that card came up last week, I'm not sure if it did with you, but she's creating a portal beneath her feet and jumping in. Just love the energy on that card in this deck. It's a really nice card. Triumphant victory coming in. Aquarius, this is looking really, really good. I mean, it's early days, isn't it? I could draw another, what we on there, another six awful cards. Um, but this is looking really powerful, really good. Don't know if it's love, don't know if it's career. Take what resonates. Um, Okay, having to, this is the Eight of Cups. This is your subconscious, what's going away from the situation as well. So these two are sort of recent past, and then the rest is, is into the future. Future uh, Four of Wands, Freedom, Celebration. I'm really liking all these cards. They're very harmonious cards. They're all working really nicely together. Love to see the Emperor down there. That's your position. That's your influences then. Uh, okay, could be a love reading with the Two of Cups. That's um, external influences, how other people see you. Uh, page of Wands, love, love, love this in this card. Love to see that energy anywhere. So you've got two pages. And the Knight of Cups, he's turning up. Uh, Knight of Swords, uh, Cups of Swords, Knight of, Knight of Cups. He's turning up over and over again. Energy on the bottom. Queen of Wands, you're an attractive person this week, Aquarius. Um, We'll start with the energy on the bottom. So she's got this crown of peacock feathers and she's um, just a beautiful, desirable, attractive energy. It's the, you know, the person, you know, you walk into a room full of strangers and go, they look nice. I, I don't mean attractive, although it can mean that, but that sort of attractive energy that kind of draws you in, you know, everyone goes, they look like an interesting person. Could be, you know, could be an octogenarian, could be a, a, a child, but just someone who's got that lovely attractive energy so that's really nice to sit on the bottom of the deck so like i say we start off with the um queen of swords crossed with the world so the world as we know is that the fool um completes his journey and he comes to the portal that has this woman there um and, and he's, he's invited to either step through and sort of level up go that was a fantastic adventure you're now more informed you've got the experience you need to go on in life to the next thing or it's um, uh, uh, to go back around and try again. You don't live the same experience, obviously, but you know if if the universe wants you to be a more honest person or a, a happier person or a more complete person, it, it sends you on these experiences and you learn from them and become hopefully a better person, and then you move on to the next adventure. It's very much like you know these uh, sort of Dungeons and Dragon games where you level up. You start off as a very basic wizard with a couple of spells and eventually over time you become this awesome wizard with thousands of spells. And you can imagine the two differences in those two wizards. 
the first one might be a little bit shy and unconfident and, and limited, whereas a wizard at the top of his game is like, boom, you know, I've got all that. So that's the, the sort of world energy, this idea of stepping up and stepping through. Also talks about the completion of a, of a stage or phase of life. So you've, you've completed level one, phase one, now time to move on. That's the energy that's crossing this one. And this one, you know, here's all these butterflies, which are all sort of creativity and imagination, all sort of coming into being. And, and obviously they go from larvae to, to butterfly, so there's that transformation. She's holding two swords, but one's actually impaled through her hand, so she knows the pain that the swords can cause. She's aware of that. You know, some people go, well, I just speak my mind. And you go, yeah, well, that was incredibly rude. She kind of speaks, speaks her mind, but knows she's not trying to be rude. She's just being truthful. You know, it's like, oh, you've put some weight on. It's like, oh, well, thanks for that. It's like, well, you, you have. You know, she's not, not trying to be mean to somebody. She just tells it like it is. Um, near past, uh, obviously been on an adventure. Um, Page of Wands. I, I love this, this idea of, you know, this sort of leaping in. A bit like the fool energy. I'm going to go off on an adventure. I'm going to go to Hong Kong. I talk about Hong Kong a lot. I don't know why. Um, you know, just jumping in. Um, I like the fact she's faceless. Oh no, she's not faceless. She's looking down, isn't she? So she's looking down into the hole she's about to jump into. But there's no worry on her face. It's like, this is what I want to do. This is the adventure I want to be on. So it's great. That's what he talks to me about all the time is that I'm going to jump in with both feet. And then near future, this card comes up a lot. So I think we all know this one. The lion's eating the hunter. The knife in the ground is the end of hostilities. Triumphant flags in the background. Everyone's really pleased. So the hunter was the bad guy, the lion's the good guy, you're, you're the lion. Um, sometimes gets confused with strength by me and this deck because this is so prominent. That's the card where the woman is, is holding the lion's jaw, sort of closing it back down, going, no, 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 just having that real strength. Again, it doesn't use a lion in this deck, it uses a snake, but the traditional reading has a lion on it. So whenever I see a lion, I always think of the strength card. But I do think there's strength involved in that. One thing it does say, this card does talk about it, it is a triumphant victory and it should be celebrated. But it's a bit like, well done you, now move on to the next cycle. Yeah, so you, you've completed that one. You were brilliant, move on. What's going away from your life? I've grown to like this card, I never liked it to begin with. I don't like it in this deck because it's got a lot of colour on it at the top. All the other cards are very, very black with the, with the focus in the middle of the card. This one... You know, I'd have preferred that in gold. But anyway, that's just the graphic designer talking. So this card is, um, again, in a more traditional deck, it's someone just walking away from those cups. They they don't hold any interest for them anymore. But they're not walking away cross. They're, they're walking away... Not, not resigned. They're, they're resigned to their fate, but you can be resigned to your fate quite happily. You know, if you're working in a job and you're trying to be the head of the department, but there are three people above you, who are all more qualified, been there longer, they're all in the queue. Unless there was a car crash and all three died, the chances of you getting that job are zero to zero. You know, so you just think, <clears throat> I love my job here, I love the team, but in order for me to get where I'm going, I need to just walk away from all these lovely benefits and all these lovely things and these people. You know, if you're in a relationship and you go, I love this person, but I want children and they don't, I'm going to wish them well and move on. You know, that's it. It's not It's not a bad thing. It's just realising, accepting your limitations and going, yeah, it's time for me to move on. It's a lovely car, lovely energy. This one's the, the baby octopus is leaving the nest. He's going out into this cold, dark, unknown ocean. Terrifying, but it has to be done. So they're just doing it. They're doing it because it has to be done. And that's your subconscious, that's your kind of tummy feeling. You're going, oh, I feel like... Feel like I need to go somewhere and do something. <clears throat> I learned from my mistakes last week. People have got myself a lovely cup of coffee to keep me going this week. Mm. Oh, that was delicious. Thank you, thank you. Um, the head of the matter. This is what you actually know of the of your situation this week. Uh, the four of wands. Four of wands is normally. I mean, the the fours are very robust. It's foundational card. It it's things are in place. You know, you've had the ace as a new beginning. You have got the twos, which is about partnership. You have got threes about the growth and movement and development. And four is like, I think one, two, and three would be asking the person out. And four is going on the date. Or or one, two, and three is buying the land and getting the plans drawn up. Four is building the house. It's that. 
solidity that plan is in place and this is talking about this bird here that's flying away the chains have broken away it's freedom freedom to do what you want and it's a bit like i think it follows on from this card you know you need to walk away from a situation but quite not without regret it's not quite happily you know you can move away from a situation that just doesn't serve you anymore and it, it leads to freedom it, it leads to a really good place it leads to a really good place um so this is where you find yourself this is the outcome so this is the emperor card and he's he's creating this thing you know he's creating prism like structures into his hand he's actually by sort of power of will and he's got a list of things down here he sat on a really monolithic um throne or seat you know he's the epitome of power and control but again in a really positive way it's it's you know it's richard branson if, if you like you know he is a billionaire he sits right at the top of the tree but he's quite happy talking to you know the cleaner and the junior as he is talking about to ceos about the next acquisition and that's a lovely lovely energy to have that real solid powerful controlling energy but used for good not used to show off with i love this card i think it's really nice and again don't be fooled that there's a man on here with a beard this is about masculine energy we all have masculine and feminine energy in our bodies and it kind of flows in and out as it's needed so that's lovely masculine energy then how other people see the situation which makes me think it might be relationship is the two of cups you know the the soulmate card two peas in a pod these these angel fish are actually jumping into each other's glasses into each other's universes you know it's a real a real decision to be the other person or be with the other person it could mean an end hostilities this broken arrow at the top and you've also got an end hostilities down here on the six of swords which are next to each other so if it is a reading you've had a, a, a sorry if it is a career reading it's clearly a reading if it was a career reading or, or or about work you've had a minor success which has ended the hostilities it's a bit like you're running this team and you're running this team the emperor's gone that's it you do you do east he does west or they do west that's it it's done and everyone's gone okay fair enough roll the sleeves and get on with it and then these two people he's managing the or she's managing east and she's managing west fine and they can they can then work together because they know what their goal is they know what this destination is that they're off on hopes and fears one of my favorite cards in this deck i love this anyone who's naked in the tarot is about honesty and truth is about i don't need clothes I'm, I'm authentic this is the real me she's gone oh quite fancy that pentacle whether it's a, a watermelon whether it's food or drink or a partner or a new role in life or a new attitude to life she's gone do you know what i'm going to wake up with a smile on my face and that that's glowing there that attitude and she's pulled herself up one-handed which is really quite tricky to do for most people but she's doing it with conviction you know she she knows that she can do it yeah really good card this is a hope card so if you're in a relationship i would say this is you knowing that you can walk away and again don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying that someone has to walk away and it's the um the end of a relationship you could just walk away from something in that relationship that doesn't serve you so you could still be in the relationship the relationship would be even stronger it's just talking about having to walk away um and get what you want and get what you want quite happily because if you're in a happy place regardless of again because it's a general reading like is this about work or is this about a relationship but you have relationships at work as well so it's just it's just being that you know powerful version of yourself getting what you want you've jumped you've leapt in with with both feet it's a really lovely energy this aquarius lovely lovely read it's the first one i've done this week so i can't compare to any others but if the others were as good as this it'd be i'd take it all day long um and your final outcome is the knight of cups he's been coming up a lot over and over and over again of all the knights in this deck he's the most ridiculously armored he's got these kind of wings hip armor and shoulder armor usual stories making the crown of angel fish he's imagining those out of his subconscious and his helmet is actually he's got no um he can't see out of it but he's not trying to look at reality he's trying to look at his dreams he's concentrating on his subconscious he's creating his sword out of water so it's completely useless as a sword 
but you know if you saw somebody generate a sword out of a glass of water you'd be very impressed a round of applause so it's all about imagination it's all about dreaming what if there's really good energy as well to end on so that is very definitely talking about uh, in, in the booklet that comes with the cards it says you know you, you have to imagine it before you can do it so if someone's had to imagine a situation and then gone on to do that situation so I'm going to I'm only going to clarify with three I did that last week and it seemed to work all right um but yeah really good if you're in a relationship just 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 be honest and own the the own the relationship yeah um and again that sounds really sort of not to the detriment of the other person you know sometimes people go what we're going to do at the weekend and someone says let's go to the zoo and you kind of go that's a great idea let's do that you know it's it's not a I don't want to go to the zoo and having a fight about it it's just so ongoing this is what i would like to do this is where i want our relationship to go this is how i want the job of work to go and people go hmm, like it let's do it so one two three let's see what we shall see lovely 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 okay so you've got the fool you've got the sun and you've got the i believe that's the seven of swords couldn't be better which is really good uh, the Fool is this, very similar to the Page of Wands, I think I mentioned The Fool before. Um, in a traditional reading, he just jumps in with both feet, all or nothing with The Fool. Um, I, I like the idea of going to Hong Kong, I'm going to Hong Kong, so off he goes. Goes off and has the adventure. The Fool in the Taro is the one that goes through all those stages. You know, he, he has, he meets the lovers, he meets the devil, he you know he meets the high priestess he meets all these people has all these adventures and all these experiences and those experiences make make them the better person because you're the fool and the last card the fool meets is the world so you've got the start the end <coughs> pardon me which makes me think that next week might be self-contained so there might be something that happens next week that's quite episodic so it happens on a monday and it finishes on a friday or it happens on thursday and finishes on sunday you know it's there's no, there's no there's no action cards in here. It's nothing that's like it. You know, it needs to be done. That's not what I'm saying. It just feels a bit. There's the fool, which is zero, and there's card twenty one in the major arcana, which is the world. Then everybody's favourite card, the sun card, um, just in tarot circles, without doubt, it is the best card to have in the deck. So a great, great card to sit absolutely anywhere. Brightens the whole deck. I mean, the sun is the reason we're on the planet. We can't survive without the sun. Um, moonlight is actually sunlight bounced off a of marble. Excuse me, just another swig. Oh, that's working. <coughs> um, so yeah, I, I really like that energy. Really positive, really powerful. You're in for an absolutely fantastic week. And then this card down here, <coughs> it's not very clear on this card, but there are um, six swords and right down the bottom are some tiny boats that are sort of sailing away. And it's about sailing from... Again, it's a bit like this energy, going from one place to another because where you are at the moment doesn't serve you, doesn't give you any, and doesn't help you. And it goes from the six to the seven as well. So you've got the triumphant victory and then you've got moving on to the next phase. That's what I'm feeling about this week, Aquarius. I think you're at a point now where everything's going really, really well. It was fantastic last week. And it's time to just move, move on to the next chapter, to the next level, to the next stage. Um, Use your imagination, but go for what you want. You know, definitely go for what you want. Um, and if that is a partner that you haven't met yet, <clears throat> and it could be, because it could be that you go, do you know what? I'm not going to be single anymore, or I'm not going to be with this person anymore because they don't serve me. So I'm walking away and they're going, yeah, I agree, we should split up, that's fine. So there's no issue with that. So you're going off on a journey, leads to freedom, leads to celebration, triumph and victory owning your own kind of space your own mental space i think and then i love 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 the page of wands i just love that fantastic kind of energy of you know i've always fancied that person at work i'm going to ask them out the thing is if they say no you just know where you stand you just move on to the next one because the the downside with the um knight of cups sometimes that cut sort of fey imagination you can you can sit there going, oh, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. It's like, well, you've got to do something, you know. Let's see what it says on top of that. Yeah, that's the King of Wands. So you've got the King and Queen of Wands. I've just drawn that to put on top of him. 
So that is about um, being courageous and being inspiring. It's an inspiring card, there's the word. So I think you need to inspire yourself this week. You know, if you want it, you know, if you want them, go and claim them. You know, just just ask somebody out. If you want the job, go for the job. Um, but it's a really lovely reading. I think you're in for a really lovely, lovely week. You know, just, yeah, if you if you can imagine it and want it, go get it. Have a lovely one. I will see you next Sunday, people.